G'day everyone and welcome to uh, the unboxing and gameplay video for Ball, which is Nintendo's Game & Watch Ball. So that one there is right in front of me right here. Now what I'll do is I'm going to give you a quick rundown and history of the Game & Watches of course in a nutshell uh, because I don't want to bore everybody with them uh, because I'm going to be doing so many of these videos probably in the future of course I'm going to be running you through all my Game & Watch collections which you can see that uh, this is the first series which are the series of the Silver series released in 1980. Of course this, these Game & Watches in front of me were the ones that were part of the first series of Game & Watches. Um, and as I as I'm as I'm showing you right here in front of the screen, this is the this is Ball. Ball um, was first created, of course, the first Game and Watch in the Nintendo series in 1980. Um, it was designed by game designer Gun Pei Yokoi, uh, who was of course um, Nintendo's research and develop. Who was uh, a head, I think, the head of re uh, Nintendo's research and development division in the 1970s. Um, he was, of course, the creator of uh, these Game & Watches, and it started it all, of course, with Ball uh, in 1980. So basically, Game & Watches consisted of, of course, a game and a watch. Now, in 1981 onward, it contained a, an alarm as well, and also a little stand that you could put your Game & Watches and you like sit them just like that. Okay, so Game, uh, sorry, Ball was one of the, was the first in the series, and it did actually come out in April 28, 1980. Uh, Ball did quite well. It sold, of course, less than 200,000, 250,000 units. Its serial number, of course, model number here was AC01. So this was the first original Game and Watches, uh, Game and Watch re released by Nintendo. As you can see, the instruction, the instructions are a little bit on the back. Uh, the box in good shape. As you can see, the date there, 1980 by Nintendo. Okay, so that is uh, in a nutshell what the Game and Watch is, and when uh, the Game and Watch when it was first released in the series. As I'll put it back down just quickly in the series, the the first one was Ball. Now, Ball also had a two different, well, had a had a anniversary edition later on. I'll explain that to you in a minute. Uh, but after Ball, uh, also in America, this Ball was called Toss Up. Okay, that's in North America. After that, there was Flagman. I'll point to it there. I'm going to get to these all in each individual rundown. Okay, each video, each video will have each one. So the next one was Flagman in the series. Uh, that was released in June 5th, 1980. Then we got Vermin in the middle, right there. Vermin was released in July 10th, 1980. So they all came out pretty quick after that, um, once they started kicking off and taking off. Then after that, we got Fire over in that corner over there. Fire had another version later on, but this one, th this original Fire, which was in the C C Silver series, was released in July 31. And then lastly, we've got Judge. Judge over here and also over there. Judge was released in October 4th, 1980. And they had two different versions, which were pretty much like the colored versions. So that is, in a nutshell, pretty much all the Game & Watches that were released in 1980 um, for the Silver Series. Now, bringing, back, bringing this back up to the screen, so this guy is the... the the one we're going to be talking about today. Um, that's Ball. Now, Ball basically released... Uh, Nintendo released a, if you want to call it, a re-release exclusive via Nintendo Club to celebrate its 30th anniversary of Game & Watches. Now, Nintendo recently did release... Um, that a diff like some newer Game and Watches, which were basically the Mario and the uh, Mario and Zelda, but they they were released very recently. Um, but this one here was released as an exclusive for Nintendo Club in the nine in nine. Um, I believe it was two thousand and nine. Okay, so this one here was two thousand and nine release. It's a re-release of this guy, so it's quite similar in the box style. But as you can see, the original has a lot, a bit more white around the edges, and this one had has more black around the edges, and the names look very similar. But of course, there isn't a serial number, if you want to call it, like AC01 uh, on the side. But as you can see, it's got Club Nintendo Club. Okay, I've got another one right here, which I've never opened. 
um, but I'll take it out now. I'm not going to take it out, take it out completely, but I'll show you what it looked like. This is what the original one got you, you, uh, what, what it looks like if you got it in the mail, uh, from Nintendo. Uh, so that is the box, which basically ba tells you that's a Nintendo club gift for its anniversary for the 30th year anniversary. Now I'm not going to open it. I'm not going to open it because I'm very like p particular with my game and watches as well. So this one here was a gift that came in the mail, of course, and you also got a little um, little message to say congratulate or not congratulations, but to say thank you for purchasing it, or not for, thank you for probably claiming it. My Japanese is not very good, so basically that is it. Uh, so that is the um, same version as the one I've got right behind here. Okay, and I'll, I'll open up both of these. Um, I won't play this one, but I'll play this one, and I'll show you exactly how it plays. But this one here, I'll, I'll just show you the differences between. Otherwise, we'll probably be here for uh, for for an hour. Uh, so, so what I'll do is I'll put it back over there, and let's get started into this one here. So basically, the box I've already gone through it, so I'll open it up now. Now, the most one of the most important things was serial numbers when you did get your Nintendo. Um, if you are looking, thinking about collecting these yourself and making them like a something important in your life uh those are most one of the most important things in making sure that you do get the serial numbers unfortunately i think my original ball this one here doesn't have the exact same new serial number so i might have to go out and look for another one but it is in tip-top shape and that's why a lot of people like uh making sure that they're in good shape uh so i'll put that box there now so as you can see um i've got I haven't got the batteries in here, but I was going to basically keep them in there. So what I do is I normally, back in the day, because I've collected Game Watches since they first came out, uh, I used to keep the batteries in there just like that. And keep, so when I wanted to not want to keep the uh, machine running or the Game & Watch running, I just take the batteries out and just keep them there. So as you can see, it comes with, with its original foam. Uh, foam is very important if you're a collector as well, so it's in good shape, I guess. So it's in uh, pretty happy shape. So that's the foam, and of course the battery location there. So I'll take the batteries out and put them over here for now, make get them ready for when we start playing the game. Now it also comes with the the plastic, which is very important. Okay, a lot of people will love the plastic to make sure they keep in very good shape, nice and clean, nice and protected. Uh, and of course then we've got the instruction manual, which I'll run through quickly. I won't take forever on it. But it's all in Japanese, and as you can see, it was released um, with the, with the name up the top. Sorry, in the middle here, AC01. Okay, and of course, everything else here. I'm, my Japanese is pretty bad, so it's probably game. It probably it probably says Game and Watch. Um, so that is that. It also gives you a brief instruction of what it looks like there. And then, of course, if you're if you can speak Japanese, feel free to pause the video and have a read yourself. It pretty much gives you the entire instructions. Instructions are very important. Like you know, if you are a collector of a Game and Watch, you do want to make sure you keep the instructions. I think all my Game and Watches have game, have instructions. If not. Ah, what can you do? I've got to try and get them myself. But yeah, the instructions pretty much run through because back in the day, people thought, what is this? What do you do? Um, and so therefore, you know, it was a game and a watch and you can set the timer and you can set the game. You can play the game. It's got, of course, it was probably explaining a left and right, what it means, ACL, which is the reset button, game A and game B and set the timer and everything like that. So, and of course, you know, you, you could you could set the time and also play game A and game B. Game A main, mainly was uh, more so like uh, how do I say it? More so about e difficulty and quickness, and more, I'll, I'll explain that in a minute. So here as well, um, instructions on how to put the batteries in. So as I said, this was something f uh, first of its kind, so it did go through a lot of instructions. Of course, nowadays, we don't need to know what this is. It's very simple, very easy. It's like, put the battery in, start. So that's pretty much it. So it tells you expect. It also explains to you what the ACL, which is the power button, power reset button, and then after that, it gives you a reset. As you can see right there, and I'll explain that to you when I start playing the game. And then it goes through, of course, what game A means. Game A, pretty much, in simple terms, is like a simpler, easier, slower version of game B. Game B was a bit more faster and a bit more complicated um, and a bit harder to play, which gave you a bit more of a challenge, which was back good, back in the day was quite quite reasonably smart. You know, like it was very hard. It was, it was pretty, pretty hard to program and set up so that's that's how game a and game b worked and then of course here was basically ex explaining to you the best way to visually look at the screen so move it down to a 45 degree angle 45 40 and then you'll get the best visual aspect of the game when you're looking at it because you got to remember the game was created on an lcd screen and um sometimes it's pretty hard to see uh and what and 
you know view the screen on on the uh when you're playing it so with also with sun and glare and light it would be very hard to see it um so that's pretty much what the instructions explained in general in a nutshell and it also had a little bit of a promotion on the games that i've just explained to you before like flagman vermin and fire all right so that's the instructions there quite simple not very hard uh, to to understand but yeah it, it was really well explained uh, so therefore people knew exactly what they're looking for and what they're getting when they buy the game and watch because it was the first of its kind in 1980 and we didn't know what was this what, is it going to take off and it certainly did so that's the plastic i'm taking the plastic off so i'll put it back there and then now the fun part let's go and put it in, put in our um put in our batteries now as you can see here these are the serial number which i was explaining before <laughs> someone had a name here so i'll just cover the name for now uh they owned it previously i guess now it belongs to me um so the serial number is there and then also the clip for the battery so the battery is very simple these things were very important back in the day and also that's what people are if you are a collector you do want the battery clip if you want to call it the clasp uh so putting the batteries in one here and one there okay very easy then use the battery clasp and clip again put it back in you'll hear a little clip and it's done okay so flicking it back over brings you back to the reset screen okay very easy and from there all you've got to do is you can set the timer um or set the time by setting the time you've got the left and the right buttons the left pretty much basically set you the hour so we'll just say make it five o'clock okay and then on the other side, you've got the time, which is minutes. And we'll make it like 5.15. Okay? Now, with the reset, which is also what I was explaining before, which is the ACL. If you press the ACL, the ACL will show you this reset screen once again on the screen. And that basically shows you everything, every little piece of animation that you see on this screen here, which is on an LCD screen, um, and of what and where the balls will move. Okay? And as you can see, they're also going to, when they fail, it also goes into crush which is when the ball falls and the game ends okay so as i was also got here got game a and game b so what we'll do is i'll run through both quickly and explain to how explain to you how they work so basically with ball all you've got to do is keep the ball in the sky without falling so it's like juggling the ball and that's it so as you can see game a is quite simple there's only two balls in the air and that is it very simple, very straightforward. For back in the day, for 1980, this game was quite good. And of course, you know, you've probably got to you keep your imagination going and, you know, play it with an enjoyment of sound, of course. You can hear the sound is quite basic. And see, it does get a bit complicated. You've got to make sure that you've got to keep your hands moving at the right time and right place. But with game A, it was quite simple. You can see that the ball moves faster and the sound goes quicker. There you go. You can hear the sound. There you go. So you can see that the balls move faster at a certain amount of time. And you've got to keep your hands moving left and right, left and right, left and right, left and right. Quickly. There you go. So very quick, very fast. So you've got to make sure that if I miss one right now, the game will end. And there you go. So you heard a little noise. It said boop. And it said crush. So that was it. My high score was 20. So what I'll do now is you only get one life in this one. Further games, other games in ga on Game & Watch is in the future, in like when they did move forward in time, of course, when the next ones got released, you got extra men. So sometimes you could play more and you get three men and you can keep on going and get that high score. Because the most f fun part about this is getting your high score. So anyway, this is game two, game B, if you want to call it. Game B, see, as you can see, has more action on the screen. So the balls go in different directions. You've got three different angles to play now. You've got one, two, three. And you can see the balls move in all different places. They can randomly randomly move around. Uh, and as you can see, they're all going in their own path. But you've got to make sure that you catch them at the right time. Um, the balls won't move from their path, but they'll move, they'll move faster. So therefore, they'll cause more trouble when they get to a certain spot. So they might end up going all together at the same time. And you've got to quickly move around everywhere. Um, because they can go from the left to the right. So that one was caught nearly at the same time. So that's pretty much it. So that's what Game 2 was all about. Game 2 was quite hard, a bit more harder, and it'll be, it'll, it will increase in speed. As you can see, my high score 
is moving up and I got 240. The good thing about this was pretty much the best fun, the best fun about playing game watches were pretty much your high scores and if you could beat your high score from now from the next time you played it. And I used to do that all the time. That was my that was the most be, that, that was the best part of playing game and watches. So that's it. So now if I make a mistake, game is over. And my high score was 310. So next time I played it, I would try and try, I try and beat that. So that's pretty much what the Game & Watches back in the day were like, and that's especially what Ball was like in the first series. So unfortunately, it doesn't have a stand, as you can see, but you could still put it on the ground and let it sh on your bedside stand or something like that, and you could see it in action when you played it. Um, so what I'll do now is I'll quickly show you what the anniversary edition, if you want to call it, Nintendo Club version of the game of Ball was. Now, this is pretty much plays exactly the same way, so I'm not going to play it, but I will open it up and show you the little differences between everything. As you can see, it's got like a little, it's got the Game & Watch Man there, and um, a bit of instructions on the back, very similar to how uh, the original one was. This one does come with its own little battery uh, batteries as well, and you can take them out with a little power thing. Um, it's, it's keeping the battery in place. Now this one here, uh, take out take out this one first. I'm not going to open it up and show you. This is very quickly. Uh, I'm just going to just quickly explain. This was the battery. Uh, sorry, Game and Watch stand. You, so I know that this one here doesn't have it, but the ones later on in the Game and Watch series has like a little metal stand, and that's what this was for. Okay, so taking the next one out, I take it all out completely, and um, you can see that here we've got um, instructions which was similar to the original one, but they're a bit bigger, okay? And they're all, in, they're, it's in a different format, of course. It's got, a, it's got um, instructions go out this way. Everything works the same way, of course. I'm not going to run through the instructions this time. Uh, it's going to take forever. But the instructions were quite big and lengthy, as you can see. Very, very lengthy, okay? So that's pretty much how that works, okay? So I'll put that back down. What everyone wants to see was, was, is what the Game & Watch looks like, and I'm going to get to that now. So I'm not going to waste any more time. So get that out. It comes in its own little foam, little foam protector. And there you go. Let's take that. Let's take that. All right, so pretty much exactly the same. A little bit smaller, I believe. Maybe a little bit smaller. Looks like it's about uh, very, very little bit. Nearly exact. I think it's exactly the same, actually. And um, if you put them this way, they look nearly the same. I guess they're pretty much nearly exactly the same. But the the design, I think it's identical. It's got ball, the name, left, right, ACL, ACL. They look exactly the same. So hang on, I'll just put them this way so we can see them clearly. Okay. So the front of the screen, exactly the same. Okay. But the back is the difference. The back, of course, has the... I'm going to cover this guy's name. So the back has the, the um, serial number. This doesn't. But this one here, if we look closely, um, see if I can get that closely, you can see a little bit there. It says Game & Watch, of course. It's got the model number, which is um, RG, of course, 01. So RGW001. Uh, it's got rating, which is basically more like a battery and made in, made made by Nintendo. So that's where it's got the Nintendo, um, Nintendo uh, Club. This one, unfortunately, doesn't have that, but it does have the instructions down the bottom. It's got the AC01. It's got the battery... Uh, battery rating and everything so that's all in there and of course it's got the serial number there so that's the only difference between the back uh the back is mainly different of course because you know that's the only way you can differentiate if you look at them very carefully this one here's got a bit more of a brushed uh metal and this one doesn't but i guess maybe that's maybe more of the age difference but i think you can see this one looks very different in in, in the way it looks in the metal uh feel compared to this one here this one here does look like it's got like a bit of a silver brush metal uh, feel to it more so you can see close differentiation differences for sure um, in the two different types all right so that's it now this video is quite lengthy and i apologize if it's bored you to death if it hasn't bored you to death feel free to make sure you keep on watching because i'll have a few i'll have a lot more coming up um, as i said game and watches are about approximately 50 plus of them and i'm going to go through every single one of them even some ones that you've never seen oh that you've probably would not know known that Nintendo made and I've got those ones so stay tuned and I'll keep watching and I hope you enjoyed this video even though it was quite lengthy if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments below and I'll do my certain I'll certainly do my best to reply and answer them to the best of my ability and if I did it if I did say anything wrong feel free to correct me on my um, explanations as well because I'll be also very happy to learn once again thank you for watching and I hope this video was quite 
you know, enjoyable, even though it was lengthy and maybe a little bit boring for some people. But anyway, thank you. Feel free, for, uh, feel free to give us a like as well. And once again, thank you for watching and I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.